Hello, and uh, I want to continue this video, and I want to talk about uh, this guy named Frederick Nietzsche. This is an important video because Frederick Nietzsche, in his book, had a lot of important ideas. I mean, the man didn't wasn't really a fan of God, and I get it. I'm no psychologist, but sometimes I believe that his dislike of God and his works, like the Antichrist, maybe because... I looked into his childhood, and when he when he was a child, his father died. And I know that they say sometimes if you have a bad relationship with a father, you may have a bad relationship with God. Maybe his books kind of reflected his anger that why would God do this? Why would God kill my father at a young age? A lot of his books about the Antichrist and God is dead I'm not sure I believe everything. I see his point about the religion and how organized religion, he thinks of them. But I also respect his other works. His other works, the will to power. And this is what this video is really about, the will to power. I really like his idea because he said this one thing. In our society with the media, the herd mentality. If you as an individual thought, because it's very common for humans to really care about what other people think, but he was the first philosopher who argued the idea, you know, in life things are hard, I get it, but you know, maybe life would be a little bit easier if you just did this one thing, like you stop giving a fuck. The problem with people is this, and this is what he means about the will to power. We think about power as this, the position. If I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, that's power. But Nietzsche argued there's another idea of power. Not so much the power of society and what you're standing in society and status, but the power of your own mind. To come to a point where you stop giving a fuck about what other people think. Nietzsche argued this, when you need other people's opinions and you need other people to accept you, you're weak. Once you get to the point where you realize what other people is really inconsequential, the thing that matters in your own life is what you do. And doing things requires a certain level of not giving a fuck. You want to write a book? Don't give a fuck. You want to make music? Stop giving a fuck. You want to start a business? Try not to give it so much of a fuck. You want to fly a plane? Maybe you have to give less of a fuck. What people think. And you will accomplish these things. Because there is this one thing in life that you must remind yourself every day when you wake up. And it's this. That you will die. Tomorrow I can get hit by a car. But you know what? I have all these YouTube videos and people will say Natalie may be dead, but she didn't believe in this idea that someday I will do this thing. She believed every day we should live our lives. And part of living your life and living life to the fullest is not giving a fuck.